Guys, welcome back to the Cumbrian Homestead. It's the 1st of October today. I'm just down on the micro orchard. I'll spin you around and show you what I'm going to do today. So, I came down the other day. Uh, didn't like the look. This is the pear tree that sort of got some kind of fungal disease. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all dead. I didn't like the look of this, these fruiting bodies coming out. So uh, anyway, I set to and dug round a bit as you can see. I tried, uh, took my axe to it, splitting axe, but uh, I didn't really get so far. And it goes down a heck of a way. So rather than, you know, try and dig down over two feet or something, excavate a huge amount of earth, I've uh, got the chainsaw down. So what I'm intending is to cut down somewhere around there um, which will be below ground level and uh, as near as I can get to an ear without the hitting the soil and stuff getting stones on it and then just backfill really just backfill and then at some point because the other thing I'm going to do over winter is all those autumn, all those raspberry canes actually there's autumn fruiting and summer fruiting well the summer fruiting give it to me bait to replant these autumn ones I'm just gonna get rid of them it's uh, they're no good it's too wet we, we just can't get enough dry days in that time of year to pick them really so they're coming out and then I've got a load of breeze blocks to put a new board around um, so that's a job over winter so anyway once I've got this out I'll backfill consolidate and then at some point I'm just gonna chuck some grass seed on it so that we'll just have the one pear tree and then this can be I'll just mow it and it'll be easy to maintain so I'll bring you back when I've got this thing cut out alright guys there we go so yeah it's pretty well below ground and I've smashed it up a bit as well the remaining uh, sort of root stump bit just to you know ensure give it more chance it'll rot off and uh, obviously I can burn those on the fire but yeah I don't know what that is but I don't like I say I don't like the look of it and uh, I was just a bit worried it might spread to me good healthy tree which I got that marvellous uh, crop off if you haven't seen that recent video on that uh, I'll put a link up somewhere to that one okay right I'll come back when uh, I've got this ground filled back in well that's it then uh, I'll probably I might have to leave it till spring actually because I think you can sow grass seed up to about perhaps late, late October, I'm not sure, let me know if you're a, a lawn expert or anything, but uh, so I probably haven't got that much time really, you know, because I'm not sure when I'll get this bit done and everything, and there's no point in putting grass seed, you know, because I'll only disturb it once I'm uh, digging out to put the breeze block in there, so it doesn't matter, whatever grows it'll grow, and then if uh, I just need to make the level up slightly, a pinch a bit of soil from somewhere else. And I say, just uh, put some grass seed on and then, uh, yeah, it'll just be a lot more easy to maintain. Right, so my next job, this was the row of spring cabbage. Uh, there was uh, greyhound cabbage here before. Uh, they're all gone. Uh, cleaned the ground and then I've limed it. And... Uh, I've just got these remaining half dozen plants to go in. That's sort of far end really and that's that row comes, so I'll get those done now. Okay, that's those in. Uh, that'll give me, hopefully, a nice row of greens in spring. Uh, I suppose I could either take them as greens or leave them to head up a bit, you know, a bit later on in May perhaps. Anyway, we'll see. But uh, those two gooseberry bushes there so that's the reason I've kind of stopped a bit short and I want to grub those out, they're coming out so obviously I don't want to start upsetting so just to leave the row short and uh, as I say that's another winter job when, when they're dormant and the leaves have gone I'll pr prune everything hard back I'll grub them out and if my mate wants them he can have them Alright so my last job for this afternoon I'm laughing, well I'm not laughing actually, but you can see uh, how a neighbourhood cat has been in several times. I thought they would, I thought they would. 
But anyway, what I need to do, my uh, land scraping fabric has arrived. So I just need to measure uh, the length of that. And then uh, I'll cut it at home because I, I want to seal the end, you know, so I'll cut it like I'll with a soldering iron or something hot so that the ends don't fray. That's a lesson I learned. It took me a while to learn it, but uh, you need to really seal the ends with something and then it sort of doesn't all come unraveled. So I'm going to measure that now. So basically it's 12 foot, which will give me a little bit just to tuck under this carpet stuff here and just to slightly go over there, just overlap it. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get that done tomorrow, forecast tomorrow is looking pretty good. And then hope, you know, that'll stop those little buggers crapping in it, using it as their toilet. And then I'll come back down with a, a tin can and burn holes in ready to uh, plant the pinks, which I'll show you now actually, I forgot about that. So these are the pink cuttings, and again uh, there's, uh, if you're interested in how to propagate pinks, I've done several videos on that, I'll put some kind of a card up at the end or something like that. Um, I think I put four cuttings in each pot, and they look, it just looks like perhaps that one there in this corner here nearest the camera hasn't taken, although it may have just had the tops damaged, but everything else, they're all looking good they're all looking healthy so as I say the plan is to get that membrane down get some holes burnt in it and then I can get these planted out this month while there's still a little bit of warmth in the soil and hopefully they'll get away to a good start. Hi folks well it's October the 2nd so following on from yesterday I uh, got my membrane cut to length and uh, the width is just about perfect so I've consolidated the ground by putting a plank down and sort of firming the soil and uh, what I'll do now is I've got my uh, burning kit to burn holes so I'll just show you that. Okay so just standard blow lamp and then this um, just a tin of salmon or something um, if you get your bulb planter that should just be about right. So all I'm going to do is and I've got um, pair of mole grips is it or something you know that clamp so I can hold it heat the bottom up and then burn it through the fabric and I'll just measure them so I'll get fairly you know equidistant if that's the right word anyway I'll uh, crack on and I'll bring you back okay so I've done about 30 for now I think I might do another five or something like that so as you can see where it's burnt it neatly the planter is a pretty perfect fit and then even partly where the edge didn't quite I can still waggle it through the membrane it'll still go through so uh, I'm gonna knock um, a pot out and we'll have a look at the roots and then we can get planting okay so that there's three in this one Let's see if I can You can see that there. <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll probably cut it with a knife to try and minimise root disturbance and then it's like a little plug if you will. Uh, I think that'll be the better way but it looks to me like they've got plenty of roots on there even though this camera might not be picking that up. So I'll just do them like that and uh, we'll get planted. Right guys, there we are. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So it's 30, 30 cuttings in there. Uh, looks a little bit scratchy at the moment with all the soil kind of lying around but the rain will soon wash that away and so um, that'll be a whole bunch easier to manage than as I say there uh, it's just choked with weeds already but they'll give me crops you know flower crops for the next well until I decide to grub them out so certainly uh, two years before these kind of hopefully get to the point where they're flowering profusely might get an odd one it's usually year two or three where they you know start flowering profusely and you get good uh, crops off them so this patch here will keep me going until these are ready and as you can see I've still got room for another five ten about twenty 
plan so I would have 15 here so I think that's uh, that's the way to go with it thanks as always for watching I do really appreciate your support and uh, we'll see you in the next one then bye for now